Hey guys, SpliceWave here, and in this video I'll be showing you all how to install this demo build of PS Home Offline on Hen. This will obviously work on all PS3 custom firmwares, as all it needs is the ability to add PKG files, but obviously Hen is the most accessible firmware that works for this, so that's why I'm showing you this on Hen. So as you might expect, you'll need to be on Hen before you do this, and have a desktop or laptop in order to download the PKG file for PS Home Offline as well as a USB flash drive on hand that's at least 8GB large which is formatted to FAT32 which I'll assume you already have and know how to do as it is needed for installing HEN as well. I will leave a link in the video description to a tutorial for how to install HEN for those of you who need it. Like I said, all you'll need is the ability to install package files like you can see here and no extra homebrew software is needed for the way I'm going to show you so let's get started. And so to start off, on PC let's download the PKG file for PS Home Offline, so let's open our browser and in the video description there will be a link to a Google Drive where you can download this PKG, for this I'm going to copy and paste it into my browser, like so, and then on here, download this PKG right here. It might have a slightly different name in the future, but that's okay, download it anyway. So what we'll do is we'll right click it, click download. Download anyway, and we'll let it download. And then once it's finished downloading, we'll continue on. Okay, so it's finished downloading now, so we can close out the browser and go into File Explorer and find what we have downloaded. It'll be here, PS Home Offline Demo Build at the time V1, so PKG. We can either cut or copy. For me, I'm just gonna cut, Control X for me. And then we're going to find our USB, if it isn't already, plug it in. And then simply paste it. And we'll let it do its thing. And now that it's finished transferring, we can click off of the USB. And then right click it, eject. And then physically remove the USB flash drive from your PC and plug it into your PS3. And now we'll move over to the PS3. So switch on your PS3 if it isn't already. And here we are on PS3. Now before I continue, you probably already know this, but if you don't, I'll let you know this now as it's quite important. Before you enable HEN here, and while HEN is enabled, make sure you're signed out of PSN. This includes when playing PlayStation Home Offline, which won't work when HEN isn't enabled, just so you're aware. Anyways, once HEN is enabled, so we'll click it right now. So what we'll do now is go to Package Manager, but first we're going to check in like videos, music, see if our USB is showing up, which it is. So we'll go to Package Manager, Install Package Files, Standard, and then just click X on this, and we'll let it install. And to give you an estimate, this is going to take between half an hour and an hour to install. So we'll just leave it to install as it is, and when it's done, we'll continue on again. And it's done installing. So now it will appear on our games list as PlayStation Home like so. And as long as you have HEN enabled, which I do, which you will need to enable each time you start up your PS3 as well, you can play it. And like I said before, just make sure that you're signed out of PSN when HEN is enabled and when you're playing PS Home Offline. Anyways guys, that brings us to the end of the video and I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm hoping to make other tutorials for this HEN build such as how to change your name and possibly add extra clothing items in the near future, so stay tuned for that. But until then, take care and peace.